Hi, I'm Natalie from So Hungry Hippie, and today I'm going to show you how I put on these circular handles that are really kind of cool. And this is the Arlo bag, the newest pattern that I've just put out. And this is my handle choice because it's nice, it's easy relatively, and it's something different. Now you can always add the sewable leather straps as an option, or you could add D-ring attachments in the side seam and do a crossbody strap. I just want to show you how these work. And we do have these hardware pieces at SoHungryHippie.com. So I'm going to take you overhead. And this is the way that I put mine on. It's through all the layers. I feel like it's really secure. And this doesn't bother me at all. If that bothers you, you can attach the handle before you sew the lining in. It's totally up to you. But let's proceed the way I did it. And what you want to have for your tools, this is you get two in a pack for these handles. And you're going to need a little screwdriver like this. It helps if it's magnetic. And when you first get the pieces, you can just remove the screws, but don't lose these screws. They are so tiny. You might want to have a little dish nearby. So I'm going to put these here. And here's all the pieces to, to that hardware piece. Okay, here's my set. I have my scalpel nearby. I need you to zoom out a little bit, Ramel. That's too, too close right now. Thanks. Uh, and then the punches. You might need an owl and for sure a mallet. Now, because I have foam in my bag, there are a lot of layers to get through for this. So at first, I use my punch tool to make the preliminary holes. And then I have to dig in there a little bit with my scalpel. If you're just putting it through the outer layer, you won't have to do all that. But let me show you the way I do it. You do want to get this centered as best you can. I'm going to make two little marks here. I can see little circles. Let me get a marking tool. There's one. There's the other. I'm not sure because last time you zoomed in, it cut off a lot of the screen. So you can try it. OK, just let me know if I'm in the way. Here's my little tiny punch. I'm going to move this one out of the way. And I'm going to do my first, oh, I don't know what I did with my plastic disc, so I'm improvising here. That didn't really do a whole lot. There it goes. Yep, it did do it. It did do it. You can see that the fabric canvas, it really doesn't want to break, <laughs> which is a testimony to good fabric, huh? Look at that. It's through the vinyl. It's through the foam. But this is what I mean. When you're going through all the layers, you kind of have to coax it. That cotton canvas doesn't want to cut. And it wouldn't be a problem if our screws for the hardware were longer, but unfortunately, they're just little baby screws. So we have to remove a lot of that layering in here. No problem. I just come in with my easy snips or a scalpel and carefully cut away the interfacing, the vinyl, and some of that fabric. You don't want to cut too much away, of course. And these are getting really dull. Okay. 
Hopefully that will work. Same with this side. I'm just going to kind of make a tunnel. You can see through it. That's good. Okay. I see some foam here that I bet is going to give me some hassle. Okay. So now as for the handle, you'll take the round piece and it just fits right in there like that, like a swing. And these two pipe looking pieces are going to go into the holes. And we do one side at a time, of course. Just trying to make it so I can feel it. There it is. Okay. Yep. Now I'm going to take my, my bracket and there's a smooth side and a rough side. And I put the rough side against the fabric. I hope my head's not in the way. <laughs> There's the little pipe piece. And I'm going to put the screw here. And then screw that in. Yep, I can feel it bite once it's taking, which is good. That's what you want. And that side's in. Now this side, let's get this lined up. I want to be able to see that bracket. If you don't see it, chances are the screw won't bite in. So just snip some of those layers away so you can see the little pipe portion. I'm going to Cut that little disc of vinyl away. The foam wants to act up. Okay, here we go. There, I can see it. I'm going to bring this up. Put the screw in there as best it'll go. And as I'm applying pressure, I'm going to screw that down. There it goes. Woohoo! And the handles are applied. So now I'm going to zip my bag closed. And there it is. <laughs> Did you think I could do it without your help? Yeah, I really like this style. I think you could put these on, and if you wanted to, you could add some little D-ring attachments for a shoulder strap if you want. I know myself, and if I'm carrying this small of a bag, I'm going to be hand carrying it because I usually carry larger bags. Now, as for this tail, on my first model, which I can't show you right now because it's in the Surprise Vinyl Club vinyl, I actually pinched it down here and tacked it in place. <laughs> but that will prevent you from opening it super wide, which was the whole point of having that zipper tail, is so you can open this really wide. There are pockets inside, and it's just a really useful bag, I think. And you asked me for smaller bags, so here you are. It's got two slip-in pockets on the front, a full, fully lined um, zipper pocket oops, for the front, and then slip-in pockets inside. All right, well, thanks for joining me. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, as usual, send them in, help at SoHungryHippie.com, and we will see you soon. Peace, love, sewing. <laughs>